Hello guys, so today we'll talk about this next PlayStation Showcase week. So we have been, this is, we haven't had been a lot of weeks recently for PlayStation Showcase for May 24th. But this is a so-called week for PlayStation Showcase. So we have Gran Turismo for the, the movie that no one's gonna watch. Opening intro, Final Fantasy Tactics, Human Being Last Stand. Yeah, games that no one's gonna buy, but, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics, they released it like 20 times already. Like, come on, Sony. Okay, we don't need another poor Final Fantasy Tactics, okay? <laughs> I think that's on the... I think the first one was, like, on the pre first... Pre like, they have it on, like, every PlayStation console. Okay, Sound Hell 2, Hell Divers 2, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, uh, some indie games, a uh, PlayStation Plus updates, a bunch of VR stuff that no one is gonna play because no one plays the PlayStation VR. You know? And then we have Apocalypse Resident Evil, Rise of Ronin, Last of Us multiplayer, Marvel's Revo you misspelled Wolverine, and Bloodborne. Yeah, this is all I think. Bloodborne is not, they're not gonna put Bloodborne. Like, these people are so obsessed with Bloodborne that they decided to sneak it in because they want to say, oh, but Bloodborne's coming out on PC finally. And we have Spider Man 2 as the last game zone. And then recap and trailer. I do not think this is gonna be, be an hour long. They're gonna say this whole thing's gonna be an hour long. Usually these things are like 30 to 40 minutes longer than Nintendo directs out. So yeah, just by the way for this alone. Cause, well, how long was the last place is in showcase? Okay, dokie, last place is in showcase. Okay, the last one, okay, was 42 minutes. And they're not gonna have an hour worth of things. So, and yeah, Bloodborne is not gonna be sewn, most likely. So yeah, already. <laughs> do not buy the PlayStation 5 in 2023. Well, that's because, you know, the only reason you would buy PlayStation 5 is you want to play God of War, and that's it. Other than that, you have to do, uh, there's a bunch of bro broken and buggy games that, you know, or pay to win garbage, you know. Which is also on the Xbox, too. You know, Xbox has the same problem, too. And it's really the developer's fault, not our fault, okay? They keep making these unfinished games with a bunch of microtransactions, and then they're like, Ooh, ooh, well, no consoles are not selling. And then when the game people actually want to buy comes out, then the consoles sell. Almost like people want to play games, but people don't want to play city games, they, like, Forspoken. Goodbye.